This video is going to talk about binary notation. And the material is going to be sort of divorced from any application. So we're just going to talk strictly about uh, binary information. But I want you to take it on faith that this will be really important whenever we start to work with um, microcontrollers and embedded systems. So to start off with, um, just to review binary notation. Binary numbers are made up of, well, a binary uh, number, a binary character. There are only two characters in a binary system, zero and one. And so one of these characters is called a bit. So here's a binary number indicated by the subscript two, so it's base two, um, that is made up of five bits. And the way that you can look at this is this is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, the eight place, the sixteenth place. So just like a number in decimal, 723, this is the ones, that's the tens, that's the hundreds place. Well, this is the ones, the twos, the fours, the eights, and the sixteenth place. So this is equivalent to three times 10 to the zero plus two times 10 to the one plus seven times 10 to the two equals 723. And so the way that we looked at this, the ones, the tens, the hundreds, we can do the same thing with binary. So we have zero times two to the zero plus one times two to the one plus one times two to the two plus zero plus one times two to the four. So we got zero, one, two, three, four. And that's equal to two plus four plus 16, so 22. So that's how you convert from binary to decimal. And then to convert from decimal back to binary, we just perform a series of divisions. So divisions by two. So for example, if we want to convert 17 uh, to binary, then we would divide by two. So 17 over two, and we keep track of the remainder. So this is equal to eight with a remainder of one. And then eight divided by two equals four, the remainder is zero. Four over two, two remainder is zero, two over two, one remainder is zero, and one over two is zero with a remainder of one. Well, this wasn't a very good example because um, the final step is to reverse the order of the remainders. So this is one, zero, 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 one uh, in binary. Um, I say it wasn't a good example because it's symmetrical, it's palindrome. Um, so 19 would have been a better example. So we'll do that real quick. 19 over 2 equals 9 remainder 1. 9 over 2 equals 4 remainder 1. Okay, so now reverse the um, remainder. So 19 is equal to 10011 in binary. So we've got 1 plus 2 plus 16. All right. So now we'll talk about um, different binary operations. So first of all, binary addition. To add two binary numbers, you align the columns. And then add pairs according to these rules. 
So zero plus zero gives you zero. One plus zero gives you one, or is zero plus one. Um, one plus one gives you zero and you carry a one. <coughs> so for example, um, let's add two binary numbers. And I'll use a different notation. Uh, so this is what, how um, a programming language is denote binary numbers with a zero B out in front. So I'll add that and then I'll add So I don't know what these numbers are in decimal. Um, but let's go ahead and figure that out. So we've got 1 plus 4 plus 16 plus 32. 53. And so we got 53 plus uh, 1 plus 2 plus 16. 53 plus 19, I believe. So anyway, um, so we've got the columns. Uh, we've got all the bits aligned in columns, and now we'll add each column at a time according to these three rules. So 1 plus 1 gives us a 0, and we carry a 1. 1 and 1 is 0, and carry a 1. 1 and 1 is 0, carry a 1. 1 and 0 is 1. 1 1 is 0, carry a 1. 1 1 is 0, and carry a 1. So this ends up being, uh, so we've got 2 to the 0, 1, 2, 3, 2 to 3 plus 4, 5, 6, 2 to the 6. So that's um, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, so 72. So it seems like 53 and 19, 53 plus 19 is 72.